Extreme environments and survival skills, Ray Mears is famous for his television adventures that have taken him across mountains, over deserts and through the jungle. He's a wilderness expert and he's helping the army. At Senelaga in Germany, he's been teaching tracking skills, making these soldiers more aware of the ground around them to avoid IEDs in theatre. This is all about bringing men home and bringing men home with all their limbs still intact. The, the kind of skills that we're talking about here are the same whether it's whether you're tracking a lion or a terrorist. They're exactly the same principles. Um, I've got 40 years experience of it, so you know, just try to bring that to bear. His lessons offer a different perspective, using his experience in the wild to avoid traps and to save lives. The terrain may be rather different to Afghanistan, but the skills are still the same. And it's not about fancy kit or valens. Today it's about getting back to basics with these soldiers, learning to use their senses and their eyes to read the ground. I like working with the forces always. You know, they're the most amazing people. I, mean, I was asked to come and, and, and act as the Red Force, really, to kind of think uh, outside of the military sphere of how people might try to counteract the tracking skills that people are using. So I'm thinking outside of the box a little bit. Hundreds of commanders are going through this course, organised by one UK armoured division, and their skills which will soon be put to use, with the likely deployment of 20 Brigade in the autumn. So be able to give us a little bit of a, um, a slightly different spin on our current techniques and enable him to add a bit of sort of, well, if I was the enemy, I would do that. Uh, and, you know, we found that hugely beneficial and we've seen the results of that today. So it's been great. He's a very experienced guy. He's got a huge amount of uh, knowledge in this sort of stuff. And if, if there's anyone we should be sort of looking to teach us, then it's someone with that amount of experience. So if anything, it's actually a, it's a really good thing he's here. And it's not just Ray Mears doing the training. The course is being run by training team Brunei, who've swapped the jungle for the woodland to share their expertise. All human beings have the uh, senses that they, they use for military tracking. Uh, what we do on our ground sign awareness and tracking courses is, is basically reawaken these senses that uh, soldiers, humans, haven't used. The skills we've learned today are invaluable. It's, that's the, obviously the, the biggest threat out there, the IEDs, and we need to let, have as much practice as we can to find them. We want to go and have a safe tour, to be honest. A safe tour is what everybody wants, and although the threats won't go away, many are hoping this groundwork and preparation will pay off. Carla Pareto, Forces News, Senelaga.